Nice. All right, let's get Evan one more. No, no, I'll be good. No, no, he, he, he needs to uh, like get him minutes. two more. Let's just give him the hard alcohol. In like five minutes. I'm going to get a tummy ache. Hey, Mike, can you go get Evan a five-gallon bucket so if he has to use the bathroom, he can use that? <laughs> I'm wearing swim trunks. I can just let her fly, right? Oh, you, you could slide play. right out your pant leg. <laughs> <laughs> Ev, we know you could let it slide. I don't know what that's supposed to be. We mean. could play the wet spot game. It's when you, uh, you and your buddies are sitting in a bar and you all try to pee the smallest amount that you can without actually peeing your pants. And the person who pees the most has to buy a drink. <laughs> so uh, this is what you do with your friends at the bar? <laughs> yeah. No chance you've actually played that. Yeah, no. I played at Zorba's last weekend. <laughs> with yeah, who? I won. Me, Brad, and John. It's frat brothers. You know, there's not many places where I draw the line, right? <laughs> but I draw the line there. Pee in my pants deliberately in the bar? Yeah, but it's for a free drink. Ooh. This is all new to us. We didn't go to college, Ryan. We weren't in a frat. Did you do some, like, questionable things to get into your frat? Like, were you hazed? No, because my frat was really new. And so the people that started it were, like, really uh, clean frat people. You know, PC. I feel like, yeah, they're very PC. As as something gets older and more people go through it, that's when it starts to become degenerate. And so we had like the type of people to start a fraternity, not the people to type of, to join it. They were the people leading it. So there was, Gosh. there was no tomfoolery. I almost wonder like if I was, if I w would have to go and choose like, do I want that or do I want one where they really make you fucking have to work hard to get into it? Dude, I've heard some crazy stuff. Like, I feel like it'd be a little more honorable. Like you're like, yeah, I had to run through campus naked in the middle of the day to get into this frat. That's like a cool story, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard a radiator case race. They put a whole case on top of like a, a heater. Okay. And then they get really hot and you have to drink it. And if you puke, you have to do another one. It's like really messed what? up. What? Walk on Legos. Um, a walk what, on Legos. No, but with your bad. knees. Holy fuck. You like <laughs> your knee, what? your way through Legos. Um, hmm. I feel like I'd choose the Legos. That seems the most doable. And that's just like a mile of Legos. <laughs> Dude, Legos hurt. Have you not stepped on one? Of course. I'm not trying to kneel down on Legos. So I, you'd rather try to do the, the case race? With definitely. The I what? feel like you'd puke. Actually? Out. I mean, I probably would puke, but I'd rather give it a good try than just bash my knees into Legos. You'd rather drink 30 warm beers? Well, we started with a case. Now it's a Wisconsin case. <laughs> oh, <laughs> You got a okay, buddy, okay, too, since so only 15. Nah, I'd give it a good run. And Legos? Dude, you'd have to be drunk to crawl on the Legos. You might as well do the case race first and then crawl on the Legos. Fair now enough. you're just doing both things, Ev. Ev I want to get into the frat. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't surprise me, being that you're drinking a a, di a diet Mountain Dew caffeine-free. What? I didn't even know that they made these. What happened to you, dude? Well, I was going to get a Ryan. Sprite, and that seemed like it was awfully close to a Sprite. Ryan is disgusted. Yeah. You asked me about that. You're like, oh, I thought you didn't even say anything about the diet dew that I put in there. If I see like a diet label or a not standard Mountain Dew label, I don't even notice it. Unless it's Mountain Dew Overdrive at sold exclusively at Casey's. Where is that guy going? Can <laughs> I say? Oh, he's got chicken strips on the pizzazz. Oh. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Why? What are, you, what are you thinking? Well, I was just wondering. We'll get there. Dipping out. Oh, you think <laughs> he knows what's coming? No. His, his interrogation? He had no idea. He actually has no idea. He never does. I don't think he's getting interrogated. No, just questioned. Yeah. <laughs> Ev, why don't you have another tea? Only if Ben serves it to me. Okay. <laughs> I honestly thought he, you were just going to brush it off on Mike. Ev, aren't you sick right now? <laughs> He's sitting here slamming teas Jesus. and drinking a Mountain Dew. Granted, <laughs> it is diet, diet free, but I have COVID, my back's thrown out, and I'm getting drunk. <laughs> so, do you feel like you got sick from Ken? No, Ken definitely got me sick. I don't have COVID, but uh, I feel like crap, and I blame it on Ken. <laughs> Ken, once you get in here, I'm I'm confused on why. Are you sick right now, Ken? No, no, I'm feeling great. 
You were sick, though. I wasn't. That's why I stayed home that day. So why do you feel like you got sick from Ken? Well, Ken's kind of the super spreader. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean by that? Out at the bar smoking everybody's vapes. <laughs> Ken is the okay. town. Ken is the town bike of vapes. Village vapes. Okay. So you guys weren't kissing to clear it up. I, I was home for two days, and then I was fine. Where were you, Evan? I, I was I not at home with Ken. If that's what you're <laughs> insinuating here. I didn't know that this is something that we had to put in, in like the employee rule book. What? This relationship. No kissing. There, there is no relationship, Ben. You're reading into this 10 pages too deep. I have not had sexual relations with this man. Sound like Bill Clinton. Are you saying I was sneaking away from the shop to go cuddle with Ken when he's homesick? Well, I don't know, dude. You just came in. You came in hot today, and you're like, I feel like shit. Ken got me sick. I'm like, what? How did he get you sick? Why are you sick, and why are we not? I said absolutely nothing about that. I, I was insinuating that you were hitting his vape. Okay, okay. Just, let, let, you just might have just shown your cards. No, I never hit Ken's vape, but he does hit <laughs> mine all day. Let, let me, Is let that me, code word for something now? Let, okay, let me, Is that let what me you go, call it down there, Ev? Let me go over the timeline of who got <laughs> sick when. I got sick after WeFest. I get better. Wait, why did you get sick at WeFest? Because it's WeFest. Oh, I thought it was from sharing vapes. <laughs> Uh, no, so I get sick after we fest. CJ then gets sick about four days later, and then now you're sick. Oh! So it was CJ. <laughs> no, I live in a house with Ken. Timeline doesn't line up for Evan after me. Listen, I've, I've been good know. for like two weeks. You're just fucking come in, and you start saying Ken got you sick. You're- I just know Ken was sick last week, and I'm sick this week. I blamed on him. How'd you know that Ken was at home sick? Because he wasn't here with me at the shop. <laughs> I'm just saying CJ's a possibility here. And Ev- Evan's burying that, so it means he's trying to hide something here. <laughs> a clean deflect. This is like the... <laughs> CJ's like, oh, no, okay, you know what? Now that I'm getting brought into this, enough is enough. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This let's, is like let's, let's get on to talking about something else. It's like the Spider-Man meme of everyone pointing at each other. Let's get into something a little bit more straight. See? <laughs> yeah, let's not talk about this kind of stuff. This is a little... One of the Life Wide Open podcast. I'm not trying to talk about Ken and Evan sucking each other's vapes. <laughs> or, uh, okay. See, you're okay. still trying to deflect it off of yourself here. Ken, I don't have a vape. Or I'm what? saying you got Evan sick. You were the last one sick here. <laughs> Let's get it on to something a little bit more straight, though. Enough of this <clears throat> vape talk. Yeah, I feel like we got to get back on track. So we're sitting at the pub the other day, and Nikki <laughs> pulls her phone out and shows Ben and I this picture. Turns out Evan's been hiding a massive secret from us. Massive. Massive secret. So Huge. Big. Let's get on to something more straight. <laughs> Anyways... <laughs> All right, Ryan, you got you to get back. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Ken, you're talking about this, Why do you, not, like, about why this, do you not, talk, not like talking about Evan's massive secret? I you think Ken's got whatever a, we talk for, about. Ken's Evan's got two big hey, secrets. Hey, hey, hey. First, no. you're infatuated with one secret, and now you're infatuated with this secret. I'm, I'm sensing a pattern here. Hold on. What's, what's the, the secret? First secret? What's the first secret? Just, <laughs> you, t- you tell the story, then I'll, I'll, I'll let you guess. Well, we talked about it on the last podcast about Ken's ginormous balls, which he doesn't like talking about. Turns out Evan's got a ginormous small arm down there. Bro, it's a baby's arm holding an apple. <laughs> we refer to it as Evan's hog. <laughs> but Ken, you get all like weird whenever we bring it up. Why are you so like in that? Like, you just keep thinking about Evan's. Hog. Ken, I listen, dude. Why are you thinking about another man's dick? Ken, I think that what this boils down to is you just don't want to share the limelight. You I, were getting I just, all this attention for having big balls, and now someone else comes in with something special. I didn't, the group like, and you I get didn't all like you talking about my balls. <laughs> now it you're like, oh, enough, enough about Evan's hog. Why are you talking about Evan's hog? 
Why, why are you talking about Evan Todd? <laughs> right. Yeah. You why want are us you to go so back to your balls? Don't by, you? by balls and dick, CJ. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's just like everyone at the table was like, wow, that's awesome. And you're just like, that's fucked up. Get that out of my face. I don't like that. Well, you're screaming about Evan's dick in a restaurant hey. in the middle of the day. Hog. It was <laughs> hog. Call it as hog. It hog. was like, okay, we got to We got to get another topic going here. I just don't understand why you weren't like congratulating him or like happy for him. You were like, you were talking about Evan's. Everyone hog. else there was happy. <laughs> Thank you're you. Scr- okay, CJ, you were drunk, but you were screaming about it in the restaurant, <laughs> I, like I, you I, normally do when you're drunk. And I was like, just shut the fuck up now. Hey, I was dead sober. And I was just, I was so, well, first of all, let's just talk about how nonchalant Nikki Evans' girlfriend showed me the photo, like, oh, yeah, look at this. And I'm like, look, and <laughs> I'm like, whoa. And then I'm like, whoa. And I'm like, why did you show me that? And she's like, oh, it's just so funny. I think she was trying to, like, show it off, right, because Evan's a humble man. And I'm like. <laughs> I feel like Evan low-key set her up to it. Yeah, and He's I think like, so these too. guys need to see this I thing. think so, too. And then I'm like, obviously, CJ, dude, you got to check this out, right? So I take the phone out of of Nikki's hand, and she was like, oh, no, don't. You know, (laughs) passing it around. Evan's just sitting there across the table like this. (laughs) (laughs) Next thing you know, yeah, the whole table gets a look at the hog. Wow, Ev, congrats, bro. People are, like, shaking his hand, trying to buy him dinner. Yeah, and then it gets to Ken. Get that out of my face. Well, you're like passing this thing around, and I, I'm not paying attention. What and the then, fuck? And then you just what hand me fuck? a basically just a picture of Evan. I'm like, why the fuck did you just hand this to me? It was just awkward. It's like he was up on top of the world, Ben, <laughs> being the only guy with something special in the group. And then we shove up Evan up there with him. Hey, you still- need a little context of the photo. It was me passed out naked in Vegas. Yeah. It wasn't just like a, a, a random hog pick. <laughs> <laughs> it was literally me passed out off my balls in Vegas drunk. And she took an unflattering picture, which all of a sudden you guys think is so flattering. <laughs> You'd think she was a photographer. She was working the angles. I mean... CJ, you got a dick problem here. You're just enamored by everything. No, just Evan's hog, and you're nuts. You got some. You got a problem here. Hey, my dick is nowhere near as big as his balls. <laughs> you guys both have something in common. What the fuck is this podcast? Uh, what is this podcast? So after we <clears throat> find out about Evan's big secret. Obviously, we are are all just in shock, right? And Nikki knew where our brains were going. The world needs to know. Yeah, I immediately said, we need to run a podcast. Get a like, podcast and she goes, right now. No! <laughs> it was almost like something overcame her. She lost control for a second. She goes, no! And she realized, she was like, kind of re- recouped herself. And I was like, you don't want me talking about this on the podcast? She's like, no. No, don't talk. And now we're talking about it. <laughs> Sorry well, about that, Nikki. <clears throat> Do you think that's because it's it's like... One of those things that probably shouldn't be shared to the world? <laughs> or do you think she's just trying to keep you under lock and key? I think she just doesn't want other girls finding out about it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, probably that. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like. Yeah. I've always wondered why Nikki stayed with Evan through all these years, but after that picture, it all makes sense. Makes sense. I shook Nikki's hand. I said, congratulations to you, too. So, Ken, what do you think about it? You know, I try to... That thought will enter my mind when you bring it up, and I'll immediately think of something else. Because I'm not interested in Evan's hard dick. on you, huh? I'm just not interested in it. I'm, I'm sure it feels like having a championship belt. <laughs> and then just having it stripped from you. <laughs> Ken, I wasn't interested... And they inter- say it's a tie. Like, I mean, I'm sure it's... Like hard, both hands held up. Are, are you living vicariously through Evan with this this picture, CJ? What? I, don't I know am. What you mean by that? If, if I think that means what I think it means, like I wish I had a hog like that. Yes. Yeah. Who yes. doesn't? Hundred percent. Who doesn't? That's why I'm surprised that you're like you like mad about it instead of like, dude. We're going on two weeks now talking about this. <laughs> dude, it's it was getting last old. weekend. As it. 
What are you talking about? It was old the second you found out. Because I didn't care. Hey, coming from a guy who has to scrape his balls off the boat seat with a spatula, leave it, leave it be. All I'm saying is if I had either one of your two gifts, I would be walking around butt naked all the time. You'd be, go to jail. You're right. I would, yeah, I suppose. But I'd, just, I'd be showing it off. You already do, CJ. I, I don't need to see any more of you. For the record, I have seen CJ naked in my room more times than any other C boy. Well, it's because I don't like drying off in the uh, bathroom because there's like dirt and shit on the floor. You so just I want step- f- the carpet on your toes, right? Yeah, of yeah. course. Yeah, and I don't pick up oh, all this shit, dude. I think that like you could make something out of this, like in the sex industry. <laughs> Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but in like 15 years, like, and you're still packing the way that you are and you want to take like a new route in life. I'm going to wait till I'm 50 to start my porn career. (laughs) You'll be like the dad next door. Good. It's got a good ring to it. We know damn well that Ken won't be the camera guy. (laughs) Oh, put that away. We're filming a porno. (laughs) With nuts like that, he'll be shooting the money shot. We'll sub him Jesus. in right at the end. <laughs> Holy shit. Sorry. Like a gallon of milk. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> what, would, what would Ken's stage name be? <laughs> the Watermelon Nightmare. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> what would Ben's be? Angel hair? <laughs> What's that mean? What do you mean, angel hair? That would be a pretty bad name. Angel hair? I don't know if there needs to be much more said, but I'm just so happy for both of you. Moving on. Quit sharing each other's vapes. (laughs) It's so uncomfortable. All right, guys. Moving on. You ready, Ryan? I can't. I, I've got food downstairs. <laughs> I really want to eat it, actually. We're in the middle of the podcast. You're more worried about chicken strips? Yes. Fair. So, Evan, uh, circling back around, you know, I do like the carpet on your t- on my toes in your room <laughs> because I don't pick up a bunch of dirt and sand on the bathroom because everyone walks in there after I shower. Um, but I do have one complaint. I know where this is going. Your room is te- smells terrible. What are you keeping in there? So I've decided it's a 50-50. It's either my motocross gear or one night I took a whiz in the closet. There's no fucking way that you peeing in the closet could, could smell for this long and this bad. It's getting worse, dude. Hold up. I think we just brushed over the whole peeing in the closet thing. I mean, why, I why don't do you think you peed in the closet. I oh. don't think that I peed in the closet but I don't know what else would smell that bad. I could, so dang. you know it smells bad. I catch a piss smell occasionally. Dude, I don't But know not how, right now because my boots... I don't know your boots, girlfriend stays in there with you. What a, I think well, she's CJ, just used CJ, to it. CJ, we know why she stays in there. <laughs> right, right. You got to make sacrifices for a guy like Evan. <laughs> Dude, it's got to be the moto gear. The, yeah, the boots, the it. pants. Why haven't you taken it out in the last Evan, four when months? I walk past your room, I don't even go in it. If I walk past in the hallway, it smells terrible. Like, I literally have to hold my breath walking past into the other bay. Well, you should buy me some Febreze or something. <laughs> Bro, what I need to buy you is a fucking mop and a vacuum and some fucking... <laughs> I'm going to mop the carpet. <laughs> I think we're going to have to, I think we're gonna have to bulldoze the whole room. First thing tomorrow morning, I'm mopping the carpet. I don't know what I'm you gonna mean. Let me see what do. CJ says about Probably that. Probably wash your bed wet. sheets. Yeah, I've never washed the bed sheets. Well, you that's your biggest the, problem I've right only there. been here for like four months. <laughs> <laughs> How often are you supposed to do it? I don't know, at least every Once couple. a week? Uh, yeah, I'd say. Alex washes our sheets once a week. You, wash, you wouldn't wash your sheets once. I'd do it every two weeks if it was me. Yeah. No, you wouldn't. Yes, yeah. I would. Do you do your own laundry? Yeah. I even do Alex's too, unfortunately. Evan, four really? Times. Four months? <sighs> she doesn't do it. I don't know. I usually just 
sleep there. I don't really put much more thought into it. I just... In Evan's defense, for the first month, he actually didn't even have sheets. He just slept on a mattress. Didn't complain. Raw dog lifestyle. <laughs> <laughs> I can't appreciate that about you, Ev. You just kind of raw dog life. And that's cool. I think maybe just start by taking the used four sets of moto boots out. As well as all the empty tea cans. <laughs> yeah, for a while there, Evan was just collecting was, I, garbage in there. I thought you were a hoarder for the first little bit. I wasn't trying to collect garbage. I just had a good idea for a few hundred tea cans. Bro, they were all over the place. They were littered. I was like, man, this guy just... Tell, what, what was the idea? Them down. I just wanted to fill the uh, side-by-side full of tea cans and have Micah hit the... Big jump in it, and then all the tea cans. <laughs> That'd be, be funny, dude. Yeah. yeah. So, did you quit collecting them? I think we should have done I'm pretty that. sure you had enough in your room. Well, there were rumors that. that my room stunk, so I got rid of them. Oh. oh. Why didn't you just like put them outside? They're hidden in a garbage bag somewhere. Okay, oh, good. So you still have them. Sweet. In his closet. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, are they? That's yeah. it's, not. it's probably mold, what? dude. You're in that big in garbage bag. Mold. Take them out. It's not the teas that smell. Yes. <laughs> it probably is. The teas have never done me wrong. They might have. Bro, have you ever Ev, poured a twisted I, tea out on the ground and wa- let it dry? It's like black. Not since the lights, though. Hey, I really do think that one day after I got done riding, I left my boots outside. I feel like a dog peed on my boots. <laughs> and I know <laughs> this sounds ridiculous. Are you sure it wasn't you? Dude, you're the you're the dog? <sighs> It could have happened. Hold on, why Why do you think that of all things? Because I have an old pair of boots that smell like every other pair of shoes I've ever owned. And then I have this new pair of boots that I've had for a short period of time. And they reek worse than anything my body could emit. That seems super far-fetched being that we don't even have a dog. Dude, your smell. <laughs> Waffles comes over and hangs out. There's dogs all over the place. What dog wanders over one time and you blame your room smelling like oh, piss dog. on it's that dog? Long before I, it was a nice room before Evan moved in. Oh, God. Clean, clean good smelling space. Now, good small space. <laughs> <laughs> I said good smelling. Oh. Oh. <laughs> when, when I think of your room, I can smell it. It's like living in my head rent free. Like if I think of it, I... I smell it. We actually went through this whole thing when you were gone on like Tuesday. Every time CJ and Ben would walk by, I was like down in the in the main bay, and they'd walk by and go, "Oh, oh, oh!" <laughs> bad. Close oh, the door. It was bad. You want to know what it smells like? It smells like sour cream chips. <laughs> like like when we get those little packs of the sour cream lays. That's what it smells like, dude. Well, maybe I left a half a bag open. I don't know. About no, half it's a bag probably the garbage bag full of teas in the closet. I think we leave this as be, and we'll make a, vi- a video bit trying to fix this problem that we're having. Would you consider yourself a hoarder? I don't <laughs> think having stinky boots and tea cans for a bit counts as being a hoarder. We call TLC. They come in. Oh, my God. This is terrible. <laughs> it's just like. They make a full episode. Evan's just laying on his bed. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a 10 by 12 room. <laughs> Fill four dumpsters. <laughs> It's like the bag, the magical bag that you like can like pull like ironing boards out of and stuff. Yeah, <laughs> they pull like a full size like car out of the room. He's got this used Honda Civic. <laughs> Doesn't run anymore. Why are you keeping this, Evan? Oh, I might fix it up someday. <laughs> Has Mike been telling you to store some of his shit too? He's kind of a hoarder. Mike My goes. God's yes. I got Mike's back. And you too. Good kids. Good kids just need to learn how to, you know. <laughs> I guess not leave your boots out to get pissed in. Exactly. I'm blaming the dog. I just put them in the shipping container. They'll be good to go. Then you guys will be complaining that Mm -hmm. all your gear that's in the shipping container now smells like my piss boots. Jesus, the shipping container smells like shit. (laughs) Start seeping up through the floor. CJ's office is right above it. Then he'll have to move out. Dude, I did actually have that thought. (laughs) I, I was thinking to myself, I'm glad my office isn't above Evan's room. Because what if the smell seeped up through the floor? And like, I'm kind of a, I'm, I'm actually a very paranoid person, as most people know. And I'd probably like be sitting there. I'd be like, I think I can smell it. Like, <laughs> like I'm glad I'm far, knees. I'm far from it. I'll tell you what. I'll go to Walmart. I'll spend about six dollars, get some boot spray. It'll be fresh. No, than ever. Just how about you just put your boots, your boots somewhere outside across the street? 
What? <laughs> <laughs> Evan, do you have separation anxiety with your boots? <laughs> yeah, what do you sleep with those things on? Why do you need them next to your bed? I mean, I guess I don't. I, I <laughs> just try to wake him up one day. He's got his fucking Alpine stars on, <laughs> Tech Tens. Well, you're telling me to put stuff here and there. I just figured I'd keep all my stuff condensed into one area that, because that that's nice. In that my head, it made I agree. sense. I agree. Well, we want your boots out of the room. <laughs> I'll blend my stink in with the rest of your guys' stuff. <laughs> yeah. That's fine. Speaking of <clears throat> dicks. Right, <laughs> going back onto it. Oh man, I'm sorry. I'm in the I'm gonna edit this thing fucking Monday and just be. Like, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, imagine this. It's 2030. The world has completely gone to shit. That's in like eight years, <laughs> right? That's very possible. Could oh, be. Okay. The world has completely gone to shit. Dumpster fires everywhere. And um, the whole world smells like Evan's boots. <laughs> yeah, the whole Jesus, world dude. smells like Evan's boots. And um, like hell. Al- aliens have, have <laughs> like, started a war with Earth. Okay. Okay, and, and it's basically, like, it's just, like, a countdown timer. Yo, this is, like, the end of the world. Uh-huh. It's inevitable. Nobody can avoid it. Nobody can save us. It is what it is, right? Mm-hmm. Well, then, the government or some secret service is just, like, fuck it, should we do it? Then they're sitting at a board meeting. Oh, I don't know. Should we do it? Why not? Why not? The end of the world is in seven days. Let's do it. They release that all of the sensors on urinals were actually cameras. And they've been filming everyone's dicks this entire time. And, and they, they re- come out with who had the biggest dick of them all. <laughs> and it's no, a they- mug shot of Evan. <laughs> 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 and they just release it as public information for the world to see. Can you imagine? Be a bad day for me and a good day for Evan. That's what yeah, it be. But why? I don't know. I just envision everyone's driver's license being a dick pic. <laughs> <laughs> You'd like that, wouldn't you, Evan? Evan be showing his his ID to everyone. They're like, no, no, you don't need to show your ID to get in unless you want a drink. Yeah, you're mad if you don't get carded. Yeah. <laughs> Evan's at the bar. Waitress comes up. Goes, what would you like? Oh, I'll take a tea. She goes, okay, cool. She goes, oh, oh, don't you want to card me? <laughs> She's like, no, you're a regular in here. It's okay. I trust you, Evan. Oh, stop. I just took a new picture. <laughs> Bro, I'd get a fake ID. You have to. You have to. Siege, I just noticed you're wearing a South Park shirt. Oh, you like it? What you know what's kind of funny? What? Is I've always thought of you of a little bit of a less fat version of Cartman. <laughs> I don't know if I should take that as a compliment no. or uh, <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> he's throwing up! Get in the camera! Make sure he's on the camera! What the hell? Oh my god! What the hell? Ken, what'd you do to this guy? He's sick! That's Evan, right, Ken, oh. go, Someone go get him a bucket! Go oh. get him a bucket! Oh my god! That trash can has holes in it! I get smell it. Just got a hand in a hurry. <laughs> this guy's a monster. Oh my god! What just happened? Why did you lose all those damn teas? It was you, you made me shotgun three teas. I tried to hit my vape. I laughed I, at the same time at something funny, <laughs> and it made me die. I did not think you shotgun three teas. That was voluntarily. Oh my god! It smells like vape. <laughs> Oh, it hey, hey, smells hey. like vape. No, it actually smells like Evans. I mean, vape. in all reality, I'm fine. Is everyone else? <laughs> Dude, I think your your vape hey, and Ken's this. vape. Listen to me here. I think your guys' vapes are like the spawn uh. of sickness. Because everyone's always puffing on them and shit. You go somewhere, people are like, hey, can I get a puff? Like, you guys are passing around in your little corner. No wonder you guys are always sick. What just happened? Like instant sickness. I think I explained it. You made me sh- beer bong <laughs> three teas. Oh, Evan, all of a sudden, just... Evan can't drink three teas. What? <laughs> that was quick succession, even for me. It really does smell like your vape. It does. That's all I smell. <laughs> Why is it so smoky in here? Well, all that Look was how in... smoky it is. It's quite in a here. party trick, Evan. <laughs> Other guys blow O's, and you're over here puking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, God. hey, can somebody get this guy at, like a wet? Rag or something. He's got and like maybe a water puke all over his hand. I can remove myself now. <laughs> not after that type of. <laughs> not after. 
Should we get him out of here? Uh, <laughs> Ev, you, you can hop off, bro. Take your garbage with hey, you. Why don't you just go back to your smelly room and get some rest? <laughs> this is officially the wildest podcast we've ever filmed. Mm-hmm. Anyways, back to my shirt. <laughs> yeah, let's talk about his shirt. It was that joke. That's the one that did it for me. <laughs> Dude, Evan thought it was so funny that it was so true. I have told funny jokes, but I've never made anyone throw up. My joke was so bad. <laughs> Ryan's a funny. Or Ryan's a funny guy. Ryan, I think somebody has to tell you that you've told funny jokes. I, I am curious now. I have. It was hilarious. Okay. I'll vouch. Why do I? Why do I remind you of a Cartman? I actually do love Cartman. I grew up watching <laughs> South Park. Like I've watched that show since I was probably in like a third grade. To I even still watch it today. Mm-hmm. Go to bed watching it. Make Alex watch it with me. I claim. A lot, pretty much all my humor from South Park. I, I don't know. It's kind of like an asshole. No, see, I was going to say Fair that. Enough. I don't I think that I'm you kidding. take a lot of the negative aspects of Cartman, him being a dick. <laughs> well, Cartman's the funniest guy on the show. I'll take that as a compliment. So where the compliment comes in is Cartman is always the ringleader in some really fucked up idea that he has. <laughs> that is so funny that normally like uses one of his friends' is uh, talent, lack of talent, or characteristic, and uses it to his advantage to be funny. And not that you take advantage of us, but you're so good at finding someone's uniqueness and making it hilarious. A joke. A joke out of it. <clears throat> I've thought it for a long time, but I've never wanted to just Snapchat God. you and be like, Cartman reminds me of CJ, because I feel like it would come across a like, little a, asshole. like a distant, a really dick thing for me to say. Just off of the Cartman road. gets their guys to go along on a lot of wild adventures. Like, wasn't it Cartman who, when they uh, they were doing the World of Warcraft thing, and he got all his friends to gang together that and sounds play like World, do, yeah. World of Warcraft, and then beat out the guy? You'd be like, "Fuck this guy! We're gonna all get together and beat him." That's something that you would rope us all into in a way. I'd take that as a compliment. I, I, I think it's a you silly should. Idea, I but. think you should take it as a compliment that is fucking hilarious. And also, I want everyone to go home and watch South Park and then think of CJ. Yeah. Like, I think the Crack Baby Basketball Association was totally, like, a great idea. I don't know why they're not. not Exactly. Like, you're fucking, like, the fat kid kid lemonade stand. That's something he would come up with, except for he'd probably do it, like, with Crack Babies or. CJ, who do you think Ryan would be? Kyle. Fuck. I knew that. Kyle can be cool sometimes. Which one's Ken? Uh, If anything, Ben's the other Cartman. I'd say you're just as much a Cartman as me. You both have uh, Cartman characteristics. Like when uh, when Cartman figured out his mom was making money in real estate and he (laughs) shut out his mom and (laughs) made more money. Which one's Ken, you said? Which one is Ken? Don't say it, CJ. I know what you're going to say. Ken, it looks like someone just... I know what you're going to say. Don't say it. Chef. It's actually not who I thought you were going to say. <laughs> what what would Micah be? Uh, okay, I got it on. What do I do next? You sound like him. Who would Mike be? Yeah, Butters would probably be pretty good. <laughs> if anything, Evan would be fucking Butters. <laughs> Dude, South Park is such a great show, and it's been going for like 20 years. Three years. I think it started in like 99 or something like that. And the fact that they haven't been canceled just based off of like the jokes and the humor well, that they have. They, they, they got to be one of the last running kind of like dark humor shows. You know, they've gotten soft. I feel, I feel like in their newest, like later years. So like in recent years, they're not nearly as edgy. Like if you watch the old ones, they're so funny. I used to be you used to say that and be like, no, the new ones aren't funny because they've kind of like storylined it. And now I go watch the old ones, and I watch the new ones, and I think the same thing. It the is old tough. ones are ruthless. Dude. They're ruthless. It's a different time. You could say whatever you wanted, and people thought it was funny. Just think, that was on cable TV. Like, you could just watch it. I know it shaped uh, the youth at the <laughs> Definitely time. Definitely did. This is what we got. <laughs> what TV shows do you think shaped you guys the most? We're going to chalk South Park up in there. Hey, guys, quick break in today's podcast for a word from our longtime sponsor, Manscaped. 
Summer is coming to an end, fellas, and if you haven't been manscaping this summer, it's not too late to freshen up before fall and give the ladies something to remember. The leader in below-the-waist grooming has you covered so you can join the over 6 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped. And we've got an exclusive offer for you guys, 20% off and free worldwide shipping with the code WIDEOPEN at manscaped.com. Lately, the boys have added some hardware to their bodies, and it's crucial that the nipple rings aren't covered by any unsightly body hair. Thankfully, Manscaped provided us with the Performance Package 4.0 so the boys can feel confident when they take the tarps off. The Manscaped Performance Package 4.0 has everything you need for your manscaping routine. Inside this package, you'll find the Lawnmower 4.0 trimmer, the Weed Whacker Ear and Nose Hair Trimmer, the Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant, Crop Reviver Toner, Performance Boxer Briefs, and a travel bag to hold all your goodies. Their Lawnmower 4.0 trimmer has a 7,000 RPM motor, a new multifunction on and off switch that can engage a travel lock, and it gives you the ability to turn the LED spotlight on and off when needed for a more precise shave. Plus, it's equipped with skin safe technology and ceramic blades so you can trim down there without any worries. Did I mention this trimmer is waterproof too? Whether you're hopping in the shower or hitting up the lake, this razor will devour even the most neglected jobs. Manscaped even threw in two free gifts to their Performance Package 4.0, the Manscaped Boxers, and the Shed Travel Bag that'll bring your comfort to another level at home and on the go. With the Performance Package, your balls will be ready to impress, but make sure you cover the rest with the Shears 2.0, a luxury nail grooming kit. This kit includes stainless steel nail cutters, tweezers, and grooming scissors. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code WIDEOPEN at manscaped.com. That's 20% off and free shipping with the code WIDEOPEN at manscaped.com. Thanks, Manscaped. Now back to the podcast. I remember when we were talking about fucking uh, Rocket Power, and you just yeah. blacked out and forgot that you liked Rocket Power. You talked about Rocket Power. You didn't have TV. Oh. Uh, Rocket Power was kind of on the way out, like, when I started watching TV. He's lying. What do you mean I'm lying? You never watch TV? He's what? trying to blend in. <laughs> He's just trying to fit in right now. What are you talking about? I do remember that when I was first friends with Ben, I walked in their house and there wasn't a fucking TV in sight. But no TV on That's the first two. That's a good thing, f- I will say. The first two floors of the house didn't have a TV. And I like walked in, I was like. Hey, where are we going to watch TV? Where are we going <laughs> to? That is probably where's the fruit should. snacks and Mountain Dew? And just be like, hey, I'm hungry. Can I have some food? And there's like a salad and so a jug of water and some ice. I was like, you expect me to eat healthy? Okay, keep. Anyway, but what shows? <laughs> um, <clears throat> did you guys ever watch Fuel TV? Yeah, that, that was good stuff. Yeah. I didn't. I never had satellite TV, so I never watched Fuel. What was on Fuel? It was like 80% it was surfing. It awesome. No, <laughs> that, was towards, that was at the end. But I would say it was like <laughs> kind of just like motorsports. Dude, it'd be like a hot-ass day, and Ben and I would be sitting there on the couch watching Fuel, Fuel TV, TV because they'd have like dirt bikes and shit on it, and we loved it. Like, I'd imagine for kids growing up now, we are probably kind of their outlet to watch a lot of motocross with also, like, personality and stuff or just motorsports in general. But we thought it was so entertaining because, realistically, that was the only place you could get it. So if they had it on, we would, like, drop everything we were doing to watch, like, like firsthand, Great Ride Open. Great Ride Open was awesome. They'd go what to all it? these different spots, yeah, and, and it was, like, a bunch of really good, more so retired pro riders, and they would hit these – just cool spots and hmm. what was they have like different Moto documentaries eight? and stuff on mm-hmm. uh like rioters like i remember watching twitches and like brian deegan's and yeah that was sweet firsthand with like travis pastrana and like i remember watching bilko uh he was on it and he had white tires and i thought that was insane i was like this guy's got white tires on That's a dirt cool. bike yeah yeah he's like used a freestyle to rider tires. yeah he, he had white tires it was so cool it, it is back. crazy when you think about it though that's all we wanted to watch, and it was hard to find. It was very hard to find. So now it's like you can kind of get that by just searching it, but I still think there's not a whole lot of people maybe making this kind of stuff, hence mm-hmm. why we've been able to kind of excel Make a, career a, little, out of it. a little bit in our, you know, whatever. Our videos, our, our, our so channel is pretty much exactly what Fuel TV used to be. They were jumping Except blazers in the pool. <laughs> well, less skill, but like same. It's like a mixed action idea. sports. Yeah. Same same idea and same action sports. And so like, and then crazy that's, antics. Yeah. That's like what shaped me and CJ just to be into what we were doing mm-hmm. as yeah. like kids. Like we would watch, uh, I don't know, whatever was on Fuel TV, and then go and ride dirt bikes or yeah, go, like hype you up. Yeah, go surf or go set up two ramps, and I don't yeah. know. It's just like what we were doing. So. You asked, like, what shaped? I would say just that channel that in general. Yeah, and then 
Just like MTV stuff. Yeah, MTV, MTV used, used to be, to be so sweet. lit. Yeah, MTV. I wonder used what to be it's dope. like nowadays. I don't even have uh-uh. any way of watching it. I don't have TV. I think it's just Rob Deerdick 24 <laughs> seven. It's just ridiculousness. ridiculousness. Dude, yeah. He runs that whole network. <clears throat> yeah, he actually which does. Which is pretty cool. I'm surprised that neither of you brought up Fantasy Factory. Oh, gosh. Oh, yeah, Fantasy Factory and then Nitro Circus, obviously. Oh, shit, it already aired. I wasn't on Ridiculousness, but I was on Deliciousness. It's Deliciousness? This, yeah, it's a whole new show. Or maybe it was just, maybe it was on Ridiculousness. I don't even know. But MTV, they like go around and... Uh, they buy clips, obviously, or just get permission to use your clip on Ridiculousness. I think they said they were starting a new show called Deliciousness, and it was like the same concept, except it was about food. But they end up buying the clip of me breaking the... Uh, they tried getting it for free, but I was like, no way. You're buying this shit. <laughs> How much did they pay for it? Not uh, enough at all. 200. 200, yeah. 200 bucks? I <laughs> sold the clip for 200. Yeah, I literally... You did? I, I didn't. I didn't even pocket the money. I... Put yeah, our company. our our company bank info in like it's which clip, uh the one when I break the window at the drive through and Mike Subi oh, yeah. grab the food with the crowbar, that's which one they bought. They bought it literally like a year and a half ago, and I just kind of forgot about it. And then the guy emailed me at like the end of July, and he goes, "Hey CJ, uh just wanted to let you know your clip is going live August twenty eighth. So now it's uh, sick. Two or three days past that Monday, and uh." I guess it already aired and I missed it because I don't have cable TV. So if anyone saw it, you should send me. Who the fuck is watching Deliciousness? <laughs> yeah, you're right. It's, I wish it would have been on. I, I still don't know if it was on Ridiculousness it's or Deliciousness. deliciousness. But either mm-hmm. way, supposedly it's a Robin, Rob Deerdick inspired show. Interesting. So I finally made it on MTV. That's pretty sweet. Every, wow. si- every single time that we watch that, it's usually when we're traveling and we're like in a hotel Stuck or something in a hotel. like that. But every single time... That we watch ridiculousness or one of the fifteen spinoff isness things that they have. I'm always watching these clips, wondering how have I never seen these before. Being that, being that the internet yeah. is now just shares clips everywhere. But it seems like they get these clips that nobody they has ever did, seen before. It's same thing with like America's Home, America's Funniest Videos, dude. That shit was so funny. That yeah. was like before the internet, obviously. So nobody that could was like see family it. friendly. But still, I feel like, like, where are they but finding But you know what's these? weird is I think they still do those shows, and you I've, you can watch Ridiculousness. You can watch five episodes of Ridiculousness and never see a clip that you've seen on the internet, which to me is insane. Yeah, like, but then again, they, they the hit internet up. internet is big. But they also hit up, like, a YouTuber to take one of their clips, you know? So they got to be taking them from. <laughs> That's what but I mean, somewhere. that clip never went viral. It's just like a very small portion of our video. I'm sure you could True. literally, if you scan through our whole channel, they could probably find so many different clips. I'm surprised they don't do that. Maybe our clips aren't that good. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> we got hit up by Chive TV like five years ago, back when we were. Was it that long ago? Dude, it was a long time ago. We, we had like a couple hundred thousand subs. Really? Okay. And Chive TV, if you have ever been at a bar, you've seen Chive TV playing. Well, anyway, they hit us up like five years ago and was just like, hey, can you guys sign off for us to use your content? And at the time, like, we didn't really think anything of it or like try and negotiate. We ever. did. We tried mm-hmm. negotiating, but oh, they were oh. like, we don't pay for it. And we just decided Damn. that the publicity and the coolness cool. factor of being at a bar and having your whatever playing. At the but time, we did say you have to give us credit. Yeah, you have to give us credit. Put it at the bottom of the screen. And at the time, they used to like do like pretty decent credit. You know, you could definitely it was like at like least see, re- yeah, readable. readable. And now, like, I don't know if they had some law changed where it's like watermark transparency <laughs> down to like twenty percent. So Bro, I was watching; I couldn't even it. barely see. It. And then I finally saw. It. I was like, way down there. Yeah, like, it just says C Boys TV, bottom right corner. Hardly, yeah. hardly readable. Yeah, but- generic font. Yeah, it is. It's still kind of cool to be like out and about at the bars and like look up and see us doing something. It on, happens on a lot. The they play our clips a lot, a lot. It, and it's like we drop a video on Thursday and we'll be out. They on they a Friday or Saturday, it, and it's like the Thursday video. Mm-hmm. It's like a catch twenty two thing, where it's like it is cool, but it's also kind of like annoying that one they don't really give you credit, but two, it's like kind of takes away the shock factor then of people watching like the video seeing it for the first time but do you think that happens or do you think it's a completely different market i don't know i, I feel think it's like, good oh yeah i think it's a different market and i also think it gives you a little validity 
I'm trying to think of something else. But yeah, it's you... pretty dumb, dude. Because I remember the one time when we were at Zorba's, and it was like on a Sunday, and all the locals were there, and everyone for some reason was like watching the Chive TV, and then like a segment came on where we were like, it was a bunch of our clips, and like people literally turned around and started clapping at us. What? <laughs> Yeah, it was just like, you know, our normal crew or whatever, but they were like so hyped on it. And I think it was just me, Ken, and maybe Mike there. And mm-hmm. we were just kind of like, <laughs> like, like it was like we finally did something good. Huh. <laughs> something about Because we te- were on the TV. <laughs> something about the TV still carries weight. It carries a lot of weight. Yeah, you know, you see. With especially older people. True. Yeah. That's pretty funny, though. Imagine watching it and knowing nothing about us, but just knowing that we're like local idiots that just like run around with a uh filming our lives or doing something just like for that. chive tv yeah and then for you look TV. up and you look oh my god they made it they're on the yeah. tv they're on the tv you know what is funny how just how big the internet is like uh what's i actually don't know the guy's instagram because he's russian but the Chern- chernobyl Dude, life guy, guy we he's should insane. we should i, I somehow he really contact speak him English. he can come over join the team the one that does like death defying stuff. You know what? Yeah. Actually, now I think about he probably wouldn't be suitable for YouTube. <laughs> Honestly, probably he not. He does such dangerous stuff. It's like incredibly dangerous. Pull pull up Should the video. Should I pull up some clips? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. So he's private actually on uh, Instagram now because his other account got taken down. But look at this. Like he's doing things that all these are happening so fast they don't even really make sense. He's insane, dude. And they're actually cutting out the <laughs> fall of it. But, like, this is actually the most crazy stunts I've ever seen. Yeah. They're also the most pointless stunts. Yeah, I know. The majority of them. And the crazy thing is, is if you go to his Instagram, he does not have that many light, or uh, that many followers. Like, his other account got shut down, but his one's got 390 doing this for 390,000 people on Instagram, legitimately risking his life every stunt. Uh, the clip I sold him, dude. What? Oh, the oh. Clip, I just sent it in the group. Okay, Evan. I got 200 bucks for that one. So fat Evan. kid falling. You know, it Hold was... Hold that up, Ryan. Oh, whoa. Yeah, now this is... I shouldn't have titled that. I thought it would get more views, but it only got about 1,000. <laughs> right, 13 me, years ago, you posted this, Evan. Dude, I was in like 10th grade. Holy shit, dude. Maybe younger. I love your thumbnail, dude. Do you have a... Evan's been I a don't YouTuber even, longer I don't even know us. what a thumbnail was then. Look at this Microsoft Paint intro here. <laughs> Steve Roginski. <laughs> face, face plant. Oh, my. Oh, no. <laughs> what? Dude, I've seen that before. Where the bike splits in half. The best part is the oh, wheel. Everything came Dude, apart. the wheel went almost two blocks. It just <laughs> rode on the forks and took off. Did he know that was going to happen? Uh, I think everyone but him knew it was going to happen. Did you guys loosen all the parts on that bike? No, you it was dicks? just, it was bending more and more every jumpy hit. We were like, do one more big one. Well, there's your problem. It was a mongoose. <laughs> oh, shit, dude. He really skinned his chin up there. <laughs> Steve Roganski, <laughs> last ride on the mongoose. Look on his chinny chin chin. A movie <laughs> by, by Evan, Evan Chef. Chef. That was back before he was dude Evan, bro. Ev, that was kind of legendary, dude. What I think is crazy is I sold that, like, that was 13 years ago, 12 years ago for 200 bucks. Yeah, and that's you all just, they fucking give you. But I thought it was bullshit. Inflation, you should have got more than that. Who did you sell it to? <sighs> it only hurts when I laugh. Uh, real TV or true TV? Yeah, or true TV. True TV. Dude, I was still on MySpace <laughs> when that video went up. I remember posting like, oh, my God, this clip's going to be on TV. Dude, I never had a MySpace. I wasn't allowed to when it was popping. And then by the time I was allowed to, it's not popping. I should make one. I also wasn't allowed to, but I went to my friend's house and just did it there. Isn't it funny how back in the day, people, especially like parents, were so afraid about you being on the Internet? It's like... If you make a MySpace account, like, people are going to come and find you and, like, kidnap you kind of thing. Like, I don't know what they were so worried about, but they're like, you should not put your name out there like that. Like, it was as if you were, like, putting your address online and telling them your garage code to come inside. Like, <laughs> And look at us now, dude. Yeah, I know. And I, anyways, I remember I went over to one of my friend's house, and he had, like, older siblings. I think I was in, like, the sixth grade. And uh, anyway, so we go over there. And he's like, come on, let's go on the computer. 
we like going go in there. He's like, you got a Facebook, right? And I'm like, uh, I don't even know what that is. Like, you know, I don't know what a Facebook is. He like types it in. He's like, I'll make you an account. Makes me an account. And I realize like what it is after he makes it. I'm like, oh no. I come home. <laughs> and I just like internet. go to my parents. I like go to my room. I'm like, guys, I made a big, big mistake. I didn't have any control. But my friend made me a, a Facebook. And they were like, <gasps> well, how do we delete it? Couldn't fucking figure out how to delete it. And I still have that Facebook to this day. <laughs> but it is funny, though. Everyone was so worried about it. That's how Ken was for me. He was the one who introduced me to Facebook because Ken was a couple years older. So he's my bad influence. What were he you introduced- doing on Facebook, Ken? We were playing Mafia Boss, dude. You guys remember that game on Facebook? <laughs> dude, My ma- our Mafia has got to be fucking killing it right now. It's been like 15 years. Ken still keeps up on his daily. Ken's logging into his Facebook right now, hopefully. Did you guys ever play Farm Simulator? Farmville. No, Farmville, yeah. Farmville, yeah, dude. I did. That was my shit, too. Is that like the same thing? You start like a village or like mob? Yeah, but this is you had a mob and then you bought different businesses that made you money for all the time that you were not logged in. So, you know, you had to be logged in and do little tasks and then you got money and then when you'd be logged off, you'd make more money. It's basically sick. what set Ryan up for this life of crime. Yeah. That he lives. He's a con artist. <laughs> Speaking of conning people, I was selling your jet ski going. <laughs> See? That's, that's just one of his many he's got going right now. So selling the jet ski, I've gotten mostly like, you can't sell it unless you flip it type of oh responses, God. which is kind of annoying, but whatever. No real biters. There's some guy who's selling the exact same jet ski for 15 grand. So he probably also got fucked over because I'm selling mine for 12.5 if anybody wants to buy <laughs> a jet ski. I'm pretty desperate at this point. Ryan, don't show your cards like that, bro. I don't even really want to get into it because I'm just going to sound whiny. But, dude, I've had a bad time selling my Camaro. What do you mean? Did you, like, just throw it up? <laughs> yeah, I put on Facebook Marketplace, and then I've started joining different groups and so i'll put it you know in like six gen camaro zl1 owners only like all this yep and normally in one fucking group some guy will be like yo this is c-boy's car always fine they go you know couple likes on it oh cool whatever yep tell fucking today some guy comments and goes let me just let me just read it let me just read beat it. the hell out of it and i don't know how this is yeah yeah exactly he goes, would recommend anyone that is thinking about buying this car to do your research on it. Comments. Some guy comments right back. Tell us what you know. I wouldn't buy shit from these guys. Look them up online. The title of the video with this car literally says, I bought a Camaro to do burnouts. <laughs> I'd look for something that hasn't had the piss beaten out of it personally. What would you respond? So I respond go. calmly. You sound like the type of guy to not have sex with your girlfriend so she's better for the next guy. <laughs> So she's still fresh for the next guy. Yeah. Said. I know. Fuck. Whatever. But I just was at, look it up. Sea Boys TV on YouTube. Cars under warranty for the next two and a half years. Did a couple burnouts. Drifted on a track. Replaced the tires and drove it normal. Great car with no issues. Chevy built a damn good car that can handle a few burnies. And then I corrected myself. There's five years, 100,000 miles. Pretty good warranty. <laughs> yeah, it's great. Then he responds, could care less what I sound like to one of the entitled boys. Common sense is that no one wants to buy a purposely wants to purposely buy something that the previous owner bought to beat on. I also find it interesting how you failed to mention how you treated the car in your initial posting and waited until someone said something about it and now you here are trying to cover your tracks. Pull Takes this, both kinds. Good luck with your sale. Pull this guy up. Pull this yeah, guy up. That's right. What's what, yeah, his let's name? See. This dude. Let what a him. pussy. Let me, Let me see. He's wearing a cowboy hat. Which one is it? I don't know. I think it's him and his boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> kind of a cute couple. <laughs> Dude, who makes their Facebook profile picture? You and another guy. That sucks, sucks. Dude. Yeah. Literally oh, yeah, broke back mountain right there. <laughs> God, it'd be fun to just go in on it, but at the same time, don't even waste your time. But yeah, no, that's kind of, I, I even was a little bit embarrassed that I had responded that much to it. But a few people have like liked my comments. Nobody's liked his. Who the fuck doesn't do a burnout with their Camaro? Uh, yeah. And it is. First off, it, <laughs> don't you and Ken have a profile picture together on your Facebook? Oh, shut up. Shut up. 
It's you, you two together like I this. I thought that was a private account. But whatever. Anyways, so uh, a lot of people, like especially our subscribers. Well, what the fuck? He's from Minnesota. Well, obviously. He's fallen out by one person in, or one person I know and then another one. Yo, you know what's Ooh. funny? Does that mean two? He's followed by one person I know <laughs> and no. another one. Yes, Evan, it does. Yo, you know what's funny is he had to listen to this entire podcast to see, what? you know, when, when he comes, when he, when he got bring mentioned him up. exactly, yeah. and he had to listen through all the dick sand. <laughs> our Hold our up, no, it is funny <laughs> because our uh, not I don't want to say all of them, but there is a small portion, maybe even bigger than small, where they are like, <laughs> like if you. Let's say are riding a razor and you have your foot to the floor and you drive it to 90 miles an hour and it's hitting the rev limiter. They're like, I would never buy that from you. I'm like, what? What? Why? J- just from hitting the rev limiter? And they're like, that's so hard. They think it's so hard on the machine. Like if you were driving it fast or whatever, I'm like, dude, they have a rev limiter for a reason. <laughs> And they also sell more tires. Like, get over it. It's like, it's a fast car. It's a fast machine. They're made to go fast. Fast. Like, if I've learned anything out of how much abuse we have put in so many different vehicles through over the years is things are tough. Yeah. Like, to actually damage something that is like a motor. I'm talking like you didn't crash it or something. Like, you just were ripping on a vehicle. And if it's completely stock, it is incredibly hard to, like, cause damage. Like, if it's a maintenance vehicle, it's just... And and a lot of people, for some reason, think, like, oh, like, he ripped it so hard. And I remember as a kid, I felt that way about, like, my dirt bikes or whatever. Like, if I had someone else ride it and they were riding it hard, I was, like, thinking, oh, like, they're wearing my bike out. (laughs) But realistically, you're not. You're just not. I'm just going to tell you. Things are tough, like a lot tougher than a lot of people think. So, not to play devil's avocado, but on the um, uh, racing lawnmower that we bought a couple. So that's a piece of shit ago. that's modified yes, right. Frankenstein. Right. Right, right, right. Exactly. No, I no, no. You had a good point with stock. You you had a good point, and I'm not disagreeing with you. I agree completely. Most things are much stronger than you would ever. Uh, for daily use, you'd ever put them through. That's what I mean. Right? That Briggs and Stratton is made to right. like run a fucking lawnmower, not a racing lawnmower. Exactly. Yeah. So anyway, um, we get this racing lawnmower. The thing was modified, and before Evan could even start believe it, it or not, they don't sell racing lawnmowers. <laughs> built. No, no, no. Before Evan could even start it, the guy was like, "Hey, we totally got ripped. We get it. We get it back here, and it ran for probably four minutes." Since like start to finish, and I was pretty pissed about it because like I that think it was, a I think it was like twenty four hundred bucks. Like it was not cheap. Anybody else like buying it to like actually buy a racing lawnmower and like do stuff with versus well even even us. But like if it was somebody you know who wanted a very reliable machine because they had saved up money and and like they wanted to, to buy a racing start lawnmower. racing or do something like that, right? Then it's like really fucked up for this guy to know that and sell him basically a waiting ticking time bomb. Mm-hmm. Like there's no he way totally that, there's no he way knew. that this guy didn't know. If I'm selling something like I expect them to go r- like ride it, like ride how it, they would ride like it. ride it hard. I mean a dirt bike or a racing lawnmower, they're made to go fast. Go drive it fast. And if it doesn't do, do it in your test run, obviously I'm not selling a good product. Yeah, so this guy goes be rad, <laughs> be rad. Just Wait, message- be rad. No, it's not that. Be rad. His oh. name's Brad. <laughs> yeah, okay, we'll call him Brad. Okay. It's, it's, Brad it's messaged Brad. Brad messaged me this morning, and he goes, "Now that you have blown up that mower, are you going to junk it? I'd be willing to buy it back for parts." Dude, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> so I, fuck you. I, I can't even responded, say what I want to tell him. I, I responded, I'd sell it to you for what I bought it for, being that it lasted about two minutes. And the guy just responded, LOL. <laughs> what? Put his name out here. Dude, the fuck thing is, guy. anyone can on? say anything they want about us wrecking it. We literally started it and hardly got it around yeah. the yard. No, nope, 100%. It blew up. So we did nothing to that lawnmower. I have plenty to say on this. From now on, I know we were complaining about our Facebook Marketplace purchases being so bad. From now on, the new series is we read the description 
and then we go and film picking it up. Mm-hmm. These guys are going to be on camera if they try ripping you off. We're not going to just do this blind, send Evan, send Ken, give them the money, don't even start it type of thing. We're, we're filming it, and I think things will really churn around. Because sure. no, no one's going to want to... And then if they Be do, they do rip you off. They just got their face put out. Yeah, like it's probably too late to go back through and and put these guys on blast. But so that yeah, that's kind of where I'm debating. How liable are you after you sell it? You're not. You're not. Because but really, I'm saying from really now not. on, like so it's like you know to go after him and just be like, dude, fuck you. So did he know? He totally did. Yeah, you probably did. Just because you're not liable doesn't mean you're not a dick. (laughs) That's very true. That's true. But in the in the status of my Camaro, I guarantee you could go out there and literally do burnouts so the tires popped. Yeah. Nothing will happen. That motor is and then bulletproof. If something it. happens, it's go take it to the fucking dealership. It's on warranty for the next ninety eight thousand miles. No, I agree. And the paint's perfect. Yeah. I was like, but I think the problem. With buying, this is, this is a little, hopefully my family doesn't listen to this. <laughs> buying stuff that we own is like dating a porn star, okay? Every dirt used dirt bike you buy, every used snowmobile, whatever, it's been put through the ringer. The guy bought it, he used it. But ours are filmed and put on the internet. So you can watch said Camaro do a burnout. And go to a drift track. And then you go, ooh, I don't really like that. So if you're scared of of what it's done, you want to go buy the car, let it sit in storage and collect dust. That's on you, man. Yeah, that's a great point. But it just it, it is tough knowing watching, watching what it. it's been through. Yeah, yeah. That's honestly an insanely accurate representation mm-hmm. of, of our vehicles. But I, I think what watching people, what it's been through as you compare it to a porn star. <laughs> I, 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 yeah, this. like weirdly, yeah. I, I think what people don't understand though is like they think we're just out beating the shit out of it twenty four seven. When True. it's like, if you actually want to know what it's been through, it's we're we're never gonna really beat on it outside of the video. So it's like three burnouts. Mm-hmm. Try and find a Camaro out there, like your That's Camaro that has not done countless burnouts but if you were to do just a random burnout you'd be like ah, i should probably film this or like make it worth it if i'm Fuck gonna yeah. toast my tires you know i have not done a burnout in that car not on camera exactly well, why would you yeah, why would i because i right. might as well film it we well, might as well make most, a spectacle most camaro owners probably would my camaro has done no behind the bar bjs <laughs> so all of, it's all on camera you you yeah. know what it's been through Nothing more, nothing less. It's not going to lie to you. It's not going to lie to you about his past. <laughs> it's all out there to see. It's yep. not afraid of what it's done. Yep. But it's going to love you like, yeah. like no other per, uh, Camaro could. Man, you were making some uncomfortable eye contact with me right now, Ryan. Hey, man. You, you were talking about dicks in the beginning of this. I think that's, I think that's cool, man. I don't Whatever see what's you're wrong with talking about dicks. No, I honestly, I'm, I'm proud you of know, Evan. I I'm think glad that he... That's I, cool. I hate to say it, but I think it's a little bit more sus when someone brings up dicks and you go, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> hey, why is he talking about dicks? Like, clearly, like, I don't have any problem about it. Like, I'm not, like, I don't know. I just feel yeah. like I'm I'm pretty confident in my sexuality where I can talk about how much of a hog my best friend Evan has. Dude, I'm fucking proud of you, dude. Like, I'm, I'm just proud about it. I literally texted Alex about it when I found out. I said, <laughs> You got to hear this. You texted your girlfriend yeah. about my penis? I said, we just, well, she was asking me what was going on. I said, we just found out Evan has a hog. <laughs> and she was just like, no, he doesn't. <laughs> LOL. I said, yeah. have Nikki show you the she picture. She doubted me? Yeah. I think, Evan, I think your uh, frame is a little misleading <laughs> to your penis size. <laughs> 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 yeah, she didn't believe it. I told her, ask Nikki. She'll probably show you the picture. I don't know. Mm-hmm. It has been making its way around town. Yeah. Do you think she could uh, send me that picture just for the podcast? We're going to pop it up right here for everyone. <laughs> the people that made it this to far want to know. Yeah, we can throw it up right there. Okay, cool. Uh, yo, I, um, somebody on a plane was airdropping nudes 
to other passengers. And then the pilots were like, if somebody, whoever it is, keeps doing this, we're going to land this plane and everyone's going to have to get off. They, the couldn't, fuck? they couldn't figure out who it was, right? I have, I have a feeling that whoever was doing it would probably continue to do it just to be even more of a troll. Yeah, because imagine if they actually, that's it, we're turning this plane around. They're just punishing everyone, dude. Could you imagine turning an entire plane around <laughs> for sending nudes? Dude, that uh, if Ken was the pilot, he probably would. I know what I'm doing the next time we're riding in his Tesla. <laughs> <laughs> while you're while you're at it, Ev, you, should, you should airdrop that. You should send that to me, dude. I don't even have it, <laughs> dude. Nikki, Nikki probably won't let Evan have it because you know she'd be <laughs> he'd be showing everyone. Nikki's gonna have that thing locked up like the Mona Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's only gonna be one true copy of it. Wait a minute. Could sell this it as an NFT? That's what I was going to. Could this benefit me financially? I can't believe that you just talked about an NFT. Evan, you've really made strides since coming here. <laughs> Dude, if I get paid money for wiener pictures, easy all day. Dude, you know that you could just take one. Like, you don't have to get that specific one. Evan's into crypto. He's reading books. <laughs> <laughs> he gets I, on the... <laughs> for well, NFTs? Come on. Maybe I'd read the NFT. internet. How many books are there on crypto? Probably... Tons, dude. <laughs> you read things on the internet, CJ. When's the last time you've picked up a book to read something? Well, I'm dumb. You don't want to ask me, but I'm sure plenty <laughs> of smart people read books all the time. Nobody reads books. You read your tablet. No, people definitely still read books, Evan. <laughs> I've never read a book. <laughs> Evan, when was the last time you read a book? I'd be curious. <laughs> Sometime in early high school. <laughs> really? <laughs> Made it through his junior, senior year without reading a book. Hey, I, when honestly, is, I quit reading books, too. In high school, I would just spark notes it. Dude, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, maybe freshman year when I thought I had to actually do it, and then I learned about spark notes, I never read again. Yeah, I'd agree with that. I don't think I did either. And it shows. <laughs> I'm a terrible reader. But, I mean, like, we all read stuff all the time, but it is never out of a book start to finish. Like, read a whole book. That never happens. Anybody here read a book in the last two years from cover to cover? I, I think I did, actually. I, I, I did, too, yeah. Believe it or not. Oh, it, it, fucking I, where's Waldo? <laughs> <laughs> I actually used to be a good reader when I was young. Um, Pop up a picture of Ryan. You can tell because he had glasses. <laughs> <laughs> Pop it up. Pop it up. <laughs> Put another one up. Fuck, fine. I'll find <laughs> pictures of myself. Well, there's just two of them. Like, and you wore them for like... The first 16 years of your life, so. Okay. Well, should we wrap it up? Probably. I'd say this was a great podcast. Mm -hmm. Good <laughs> fun. Funny. Lots of depth and subjects. Dicks. Balls. <laughs> porn stars. Camaros. Camaros. It's the American dream. Evan threw up at one point. I was, was hoping you guys forgot up. about it. Bro. Yeah, things were electric. Anyway, all right. If you guys made it to this point in the podcast, uh, thank you. And we're and sorry. Also, <laughs> we're sorry. actually, no, seriously, though, uh, comment down below questions. But I want, like, good questions, not just, like, well, what's your favorite dirt bike brand? Like, like comment some decent questions that actually have a little bit of depth to them, and then we could answer them. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't That'd know. I just noticed they do that on a lot of other podcasts, and it is kind of interesting because I am curious, you know, if you have a question, you should ask us now because we'd probably see it. And if it's a good one, we for, we'll answer it. Mm -hmm. So good discussion topics. Correct. More yeah, so than that, just but a But also, question. like, I don't know, dude. Just, like, the situations they're in and how would you suggest dealing with it? Um, yeah. If you weren't, like, I don't know. I was listening to Brad's po Brad Martin's podcast and he was talking, like, someone asked, like, if you weren't doing this, what would you be doing? Um, if you, you know, they were asking, like, pretty decent questions questions i don't know but. yeah don't ask how big is evan's dick <laughs> yeah hey hey, ask, hey 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 what would hey. you do if you had a dick as big as evan's hog sorry that's a good question hog. we refer to it evan's hog yeah. i, I can't know. wait <laughs> to hear about my mom listening to this one does she hey, listen I, am, I was actually does that's she actually? wild because i was just about to ask you Ev, does your mom listen to our podcast i honestly don't know but probably not I mean, she knows at least how to type C Boys TV into YouTube. So, could this pop up? It could. Especially when we title your face and it says Evan's Giant Secret. I, I mean, think, it's fine. Think, she yeah, made it. You're right. She's totally going to know, actually. <laughs> it's going to be Evan's massive secret. Um, my parents, I think they stopped listening to it. 
I, my dad said he's going to catch up on his on his next long drive. So, oh. hey, Dad. <laughs> I feel like my parents are like, this is just, I don't want to know this stuff. There are some things you just shouldn't know. Yeah. Makes it easier, honestly. Honestly, it does. Not that I really care, but. Yeah, I, I question if we should maybe be telling the entire world some of these things. Yeah, if we should hey, make man. Evan shotgun six T's and then talk about his dick for an hour. <laughs> yeah. It was more so. What a just, position! It was more so just me and Ben and Ken arguing about it. <laughs> Can we just talk about <laughs> Ken's balls for a second before we end this? No, I uh, mean they're right, huge. Fine. It's not a whole lot less. Like, we That's do have true. to give them a little love here. Let's talk them up a little bit. Big old tangerines in that orange sack. No. <laughs> All right, everyone, subscribe, we- like this Can on we- whatever you're listening. Jesus. <laughs> Holy shit, this guy. <laughs> This? Oh, Ryan's in the middle. No, he oh. hit the entire thing. I just hit my lower back right here. <laughs> Sorry, dude. I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to cause as much of a disruption. All right, guys. We'll see you next time. <laughs> now I don't feel so bad about breaking the table. Evan, you threw up. <laughs>